With the popularity of Instagram and Hipstamatic, vintage-inspired filters are everywhere these days. In this first video, I'll show you how to recreate your own retro-style filters. Inside of Perfect Effects, there are a couple categories to start with, and the first is called Vintage, and it's all the way down at the bottom. Once I twirl it open, you'll see that there are a ton of different looks to choose from, including my favorite, which is called Nicely Toasted. Most of these are pre-made effects and can't be changed other than their blend mode and their opacity. And if I want to do that, all I need to do is click on Options. I can change the blend mode right here, and go down to Soft Light, and I can lower the opacity of the layer just a bit. And once I click Apply, I'm good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this, and I'm going to show you a different category to take a look at, which is called Split Tone. And once I twirl it open, you'll see there are only four different options, but my favorite is called Split Blue Orange, and I'll show you exactly how it works. You'll see it opens up the Tone Enhancer effect on the right-hand side, and if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the Curve Channels, which you can go in and actually refine. Now I'd like to make the overall image a little bit bluer, so I'm going to go to my Channel drop-down menu right here, and I'm going to select Blue. Then I'm just going to take this left-hand point, and I'm just going to move it up so that it creates an even more blue effect. You'll see the image starts to get a lot cooler. I can also create a point right here in the middle, and I can make the midtones a little bit bluer, and then I'll take this right hand point, and I want to make sure that those highlights stay pretty warm. So I'm just going to move that down to make sure that they aren't affected as much by the blue. Now one of the great parts of having this as a tone enhancer option is that I can scroll up and I can continue to change the tone of my image. So I can actually lower the brightness a little bit, I can add a little bit more contrast, and I can add a little bit of local contrast if I want it to look a little grittier. Now that I've customized it, all I need to do is go in and change the opacity if I'd like to lower or raise it at all. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to apply a texture. So I'm going to scroll down and twirl up in the Textures Paper category, and I'm going to choose my favorite called Recycled. It's going to apply that texture. I'm going to lower the opacity just a little bit. And now I have my own tailored vintage effect, which I'll save as a preset to use later.